G'day scientists, it's the first of our Christmas specials today. Today we're going to be opening this advent calendar which shows you how to build your own electronic sound synthesizer. It cost me $67 from Amazon and if you recall I did a similar advent calendar last year where I opened 24 days of calendar and built a retro radio where you can actually listen to radio stations from the pieces you found inside this kit. If this kit is like last year's Every day you get a new electronic component and teach you a bit about that component and then a little experiment to perform. And then over the course of 24 days, you build the actual thing itself. On the box here it says, build your own synthesizer 24 steps, no soldering required, which as you remember from my other video up there, um, my soldering is not fantastic, but you know, practice makes perfect. Um, on the back here, yes, it's exactly like last year's one where we've got breadboards, components, there's a little speaker here, a battery pack, the manual itself, which last year was incredibly detailed and actually taught you loads of stuff. And then assembled, ah, uh, wow, I see. So the inside there'll be some kind of like cardboard thing for you to put the speaker into, which has got like this funky wave pattern on the front here. Um, right, let's open up and take a look inside. Inside, yes, it's exactly the same as before. Um, you've got all the doors here. Then inside we've got this manual, which has got a lot of detail in. Yep, yeah, this is exactly similar to last year's one. Every day, um, a different experiment to perform. And it also tells you a bit about the electronic component you've revealed here. So for instance, on this one, which is day one, it shows you LEDs have to be connected the right way around because they are diodes. So electricity can only flow through the in one direction to produce the light. Each day you're building on what you've done the day before. So if we fast forward here, let's take a look at day seven. You can see here, there's an experiment here where and you've built whatever this is here. And then on day eight, it's just adding a few extra parts, which is quite good for younger kids. I think this is suitable for ages 14 and up. That's probably about right because it's a bit detailed and you wanna make sure you get the things in the correct place. And then fast forward to day 24, the entire thing is complete and you've got a working synthesizer. Okay, this is what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna reveal the first few days, day one, day two, and show you the experiments that you get to do on day one and day two. Then I'm gonna fast forward through all 24 days of the calendar, show you what bits you get inside the calendar, and then assemble day 24 into the working synthesizer so you can see what it's like when it's complete. Then I'm gonna play a little tune on this synthesizer and you can let me know in the comments what you think. Let's get started and take a look. We're gonna put the batteries inside the battery pack, it's step one. And then once we've got the batteries in, we've also gotta be very careful not to like short these wires out or anything because it's gonna be a mess. Then you can see the longer pin on this LED goes to the positive. I love the way you're just like holding these things together because it's really reminiscent of how I learned to play with electronics and learn. And then add to the, there we go, the black on, and now the green lights up. That's the end of experiment one. A not a huge amount of information in there, but every day you're learning something and building on what we did the day before. Right, let's fast forward to day two. Day two. Ah, day two has got the breadboard and a small switch. Okay, now we get to see um, how a breadboard works. In day two, it shows you that um, the contacts along here run here and then here and here. Anything you connect up um, on here follows these links of electricity. And also everything is numbered. So we've got A to E there and across the top, zero to 25. Right, we're gonna add the switch in to point three, the positive one and put it so it goes into the switch at the top here. And then the black one across here, like that. Then we're gonna take the positive side of the switch, put it here and then in here. So then hopefully when we push the switch, the light will light up. Yeah, success, success, success. You can see from these two examples how easy the entire kit is to put together. And every day it just gets a little bit more complicated and complicated. And one of the things I found with this kit last year was that you can make a mistake and then it won't work, something weird will happen, and you have to actually trace back what you put into what hole and make sure it's in the right place using this diagram. Now that is a bit tedious, but it does teach you a really important concept of electronics, and that's how to debug, as in go back and find out where your mistakes are and fix them. I'm gonna put this to one side as we fast forward through all of the rest of the doors. Door three. In door three, we've got a capacitor, door four. Where's door four? Here, door four. 
Oh, I broke this off. And door four, the speaker. Door five. Day five, we've got a coil of wire. And the wire is used, it's quite painful, <laughs> but the wire is used to bridge different parts. And we've got a microchip here. Okay, next part, day six. Oh, I'm loving opening up every day. You never know quite what you're gonna find. This is a capacitor. We found a capacitor in this box. So I've just learned something new. With these, this is a capacitor and this is a capacitor. With this type of capacitor, it matters which side is a positive or negative. But with this type of capacitor, which is a ceramic capacitor, it doesn't matter which way around you put it in. So that is great news. Day seven. Oh, day seven has got a resistor inside it. Day eight. Day eight. Ah, we've got a potentiometer, variable resistor. You basically twist this and it changes the resistance. Day nine. Day nine, another resistor. Day 10. On day 10, we have another resistor, 11th door. The only annoying thing about this kit is that it kind of ruins what's behind the door because first thing it says in day 11 is behind the 11th door is another capacitor. Let's open up. 11th door. It's a capacitor. <laughs> what a surprise. Day 12. Day 12 is another capacitor. Day 13. Day 13. Ah, is another microchip. Look at this one. This one is so tiny, but it's got remounted pins here. I think this is going to be a pretty good one. Day 14, where are you? Ah, oh, day 14 is another big one. Day 14, another breadboard. Day 15. Day 15 has another capacitor, the type that has a positive and negative side. Day 16. And what have we got in day 16? It's a resistor. Day 17, we get a second variable resistor. Ah. Day 18, we've got a resistor. Okay, day 19. Day 19, we have another capacitor. In day 20, we've got a selection of LEDs. Day 21 Ooh, is another variable resistor. Day 22 uh, is a switch. Day 23 is another switch. And day 24, ah, a whole pile more LEDs, which always make every project much more interesting. Okay, that's everything. Now let's assemble day 24. <laughs>there you have it 24 days of electronic components and assembling a synthesizer that plays a christmas tune in the end um did i enjoy this yeah absolutely and i think it actually taught me quite a lot about electronics i was going through for instance i learned that fact about capacitors that i didn't know before every day you get to do something different so in total i reckon this would probably take three hours spread over 24 days so it was quite nice short time snippets for that age 14 year old kid um money wise 
it was a little bit on the expensive side, but that's because I think this is becoming limited edition. It's actually a few years old now. I've included a link to Amazon in the comments below so you can purchase it for yourself. It's an affiliate link, so if you do purchase it, we will get a small donation to the channel, which helps us keep going. Right, would I buy this again? Let's find out. I'm gonna give the Build Your Own Synthesizer in 24 days advent and calendar, three stars for fun, three stars for learning, and two stars for price. Buy or bye bye. It is a buy for sure. I love this kit. I highly recommend getting it. As I said, link in the description below to the affiliate. If you enjoyed this video, please hit like, subscribe, and if you haven't checked it out yet, have a look at this video here where I did the build your own retro radio in 24 days advent calendar. See you next time.